Hi, Billy Munger here, and as you may know, this year I'm taking on the Ironman World Championships in Kona to raise money for Comet Relief. What you may not remember is that back in 2021, I actually took on another Comet Relief Challenge, walking, cycling, and kayaking across the country, which was shown in a documentary on TV. Now, I've never seen these before, but the Comet Relief team have just given me some letters, that was smooth, from kids at a primary school in Blackburn. They sent them to me after the documentary. So I'm gonna have a read through and see what they had to say. Hopefully it's good things. Dear Billy, you are brave and fearless. We are impressed with your hard work in these challenges. We think that the biking looked the hardest. Which was the hardest for you? Yours sincerely, Frank and Harvey, year six. So Frank and Harvey, cycling was the hardest part of my challenge. And this challenge, I've got even more of that to do because I've upgraded the walking to running a marathon. The cycling's even further. And I've got to get in the, the ocean and out in Hawaii in Kona which can be choppy and it's gonna be interesting to say the least, but thanks for your message. I'll be uh, thinking about that when I'm out there taking on the bike, knowing that you guys are, yeah, behind me all the way. When I got asked to do the Comet Relief Challenge the first time round, it was conveniently right place, right time for me to take on a challenge like that because I'd been working hard on my fitness in the second half of the COVID lockdown. I was thinking of doing something anyway. And then when Comic Relief approached me about doing this, it was a lot bigger and more ambitious than I ever thought maybe the challenge I would set myself away from Comic Relief. But equally, I was excited by it and it felt like the right time to take something like that on and I'm so glad that it happened that way. And being involved with Comet Relief for that first challenge uh, was really special. And I'm so excited to take on another challenge, even bigger and better. Dear Billy, you have inspired me and my classmates to never give up and to try and try again, even in the hardest of times when everything seems impossible. If you, are, if you try, you are bound to succeed. Kindest regards, Star. 13 years old. Thank you, Star. I mean, yeah, that is fundamentally one of the biggest things the first challenge taught me was that, you know, if you keep pushing and if you never give up, then even if you fail, you can achieve some incredible things. And yeah, taking on Kona, trying to break a world record, it's me trying to achieve something that's never been done before and to go faster than anyone ever has. And that is scary. And there's a huge chance that I will fail. But in pushing myself in training for this challenge for what's gonna be over a year by the time I get to the start line, I'm hoping that I'll be able to succeed. It's, it's hard to say really where I get my determination, perseverance from. I think everyone has it. And I think certain things bring it out of individuals. My accident taught me that you know, actually just being determined is a huge chunk of being able to go on to achieve great things. Like if I hadn't been determined to go back to racing after my accident to get a good quality of life back for myself, then I don't know where I'd be at today. So just kind of try to break things down, keep it simple, know that if I work hard, that anything's possible. And yeah, I like to prove that even having a huge accident and becoming a dub empty and the life-changing moment that was for me, that that isn't gonna be what dictates my story. I wanna be in charge of my own narrative. Taking on these challenges is part of that. Now we have another letter here. It's a really fascinating reading these. It uh, reminds me of that first challenge. It's only three years ago, but it feels like a lot longer. Um, yeah, so it's nice to read these. Dear Billy, the relationship between you and your sister and your ama is amazing and you have motivated me to have a better relationship with my younger brother. I was mind blown by your determination whilst you were walking 18 miles. I can't even walk five without my legs going all wobbly. Your life story has inspired us to do whatever we want to and just believe that when your mind tells you it hurts, too much. It is just playing tricks on you. Regards, Sophia. Thank you, Sophia. I mean, 
it's really nice to hear actually that my relationship with my sister and how amazing she is uh, has inspired you to have a try and have a better relationship with your younger brother. I mean, family is super important to me. It's something that helps me get through all these difficult moments, knowing that I've got a great support network behind me, people that believe in me no matter what and want me to succeed. I think everyone deserves to have that and I'm sure that by you working in your relationship with your younger brother that you will both be there for each other in those hard moments and you'll both feel the benefit of that. When I'm doing Kona, there's not much they can really do apart from try and cheer as loud as possible. And those cheers do matter. Uh, having done three half Ironmans now in the process to getting to Kona, it's yeah incredible being at the events on, on race day, how much the support can bring the best out of you. And I always feel like I've got the loudest uh, cheerleaders from the sidelines. So yeah, my family, my friends, they're their support's going to be massive in those moments where it would be very easy to give up and to want to stop because there's going to be lots of those moments. I have no doubt about that. But yeah, their support's going to mean, mean everything. Final one. Final letter. Dear Billy, you have shown me to test my limits and have also shown me that anything is possible. Thank you for raising money to help others and for showing us that we can achieve anything. Yours sincerely, Bradley. Thank you, Bradley. I mean, yeah, the, the reason, part of the reason for me taking on that first challenge for Comet Relief was after my accident, so many people supported me, helped raise money for me to support my recovery. So I know the feeling of when people come together around you, how, life-changing it could be so part of my my goals by working with comic relief to raise as much money as possible is knowing the impact that they can have through their charities through their organization of just making a difference to people's day-to-day -day lives that's what this is is all about really I know that difference I've felt that difference and I want as many other people to feel that difference too. It's changed my life by seeing the positive impact that they have and playing a small part in that. Um, so yeah, that's what Kona is going to be for me, is another opportunity to be a part of something, something special. Well, that was really nice and I'm really glad people came on that journey with me and felt invested in that first challenge because my first challenge and I loved every part of it and I'd really love it if you could do the same this time around and, and make a donation ahead of this Ironman challenge. Five pounds, ten pounds, anything you can possibly donate, it would really be appreciated. So thank you so much for all the support and I'll see you in Kona.